Creating tables. Tables represent the data in the form of rows and columns. In HTML5, a table is created by using the table tag. The table tag should be defined inside the body tag. It is a container tag. Different kinds of tables can be created by using the following child tags of the table tag. TR. This tag is used for defining table rows. TD. This tag is used for defining table data, that is, the data of the cells. Caption. This tag is used for defining the title of the table. TH. This tag is used for defining table headings. Following is an example of a table. Table student. Where table student is the title of the table which can be inserted by using the caption tag. Roll number, name, grade and gender are the table headings that can be created by using the th tag. CSS properties used with table tag. CSS provides various properties which can be used with table tag to accomplish various tasks. They are border, border style, border color, border spacing, width, padding, background color, and color. These are global properties of CSS, which means that these can be used with any element of HTML. Let us see how to use these properties with table tag while creating a table in HTML. Using border property. The border property of CSS allows you to apply a border to an element of HTML like table. For example, preceding code will apply a border of 2px to the table. Using border style property. The border style property is used to apply outline style of borders of the table or any other element. To use this property, it is necessary to use the border property. CSS provides different types of border styles, which are dotted, dashed, solid, double, groove, ridge, inset, outset, none, and hidden. You can use any one of these styles at a time. If you use the none style, the border will not appear. For example, using border color property. The border color property allows you to apply a color to the border. For example, let us create a table using the above properties. In the preceding code, you have seen that rows are created by using the tr tag. Rows are further divided into cells by using the td tag. These cells contain data of the table. Using border spacing property. The border spacing property is used to specify the space between the borders of adjacent cells. For example, using width property. The width property is used to specify the width of a box or table. 100% width will capture the complete width of the web page. For example, using padding property. The padding property is used to specify the space around the content of a cell and the border of the cell in a table. For example, Using background color property. The background color property is used to specify the color for the background in a table on the web page. You can apply color in a cell, row, or entire table. For example, using color property. The color property is used to specify the text color. For example, The TD tag. The TD tag stands for table data. It is used to fill the data in the table cells. Following are the attributes used to present the cell or table data in more effective manner. Row span. 
The row span attribute applies when a single cell is extended for more than a single row. That is, the cell spans for two or more rows instead of one as shown in below table. Here, the cell sports is taking a span of three rows and martial arts is taking a span of two rows. For example, for using row span attribute is call span. The call span attribute applies when a single cell is extended to more than a single column. That is, the cell spans for two or more columns instead of one as shown in table below. Here, name cell is taking a span of two columns. The TR tag. The TR stands for table row and is used to start a row. It ends up with TR. It is a container tag.